hello everyone welcome again to my channel Dacti for you i hope you are all doing great and staying safe in today's video i'm sharing with you how i make this amazing but yet delicious and simple spaghetti recipe that i know you and your family are going to love it will be a perfect simple dinner recipe for the weekend so without wasting much time let's get into this recipe here I have a saucepan on fire. I'm going to add in about a tablespoon of olive oil. You can use any oil of your choice. Then when it's heat up, I add in my already marinated shrimp. So I just sprinkle salt on my shrimp after cleaning it. And then I'm going to just go ahead and uh, stir fry the shrimp or saute the shrimp for about four minutes. So this is four minutes later. I'm going to take out the shrimps and then I will set it aside. Now in the same saucepan, add in your beef. So the beef that I'm using, uh, I just marinated it with a little bit of salt, ginger, garlic, onion, anise, and rosemary mixture with some pepper. That is it. And then I set it aside for about 25 minutes before I used it. Now go ahead and add in just a little piece of tallow beef. This is salted beef, which is absolutely optional, but oh my, it just elevates your flavors and the aroma in your spaghetti. Give it a try and come and thank me later. So this has been on fire for about seven minutes now. And then I'm adding in all my vegetables. So I'm using onions carrot and then bell peppers if you don't have the red bell pepper you can just add a little bit of tomatoes but make sure that the tomatoes is not so soft then i went in with some cinnamon and uh, bay leaves to it go ahead and then give it a stir guys the aromas coming out of this is just amazing this is a very simple recipe but you are going to love it i went in with a tablespoon of my red chili sauce and then i add in a little bit of uh, paprika turmeric powder just to give it some color if you don't have it you can just skip or add a little bit of uh, curry powder to it then i went in with some all-purpose seasoning Go ahead and then give this a stir. So I'll make sure that I write every ingredient in the comment section. So please do well to check for the ingredient that I use in this recipe. Now I'm going to go ahead and then I'll cover it, allow it to cook on a medium heat for some time. I went back to add a little bit of uh, rosemary and then salt to it. Cover it and allow it to cook on a medium heat for about four to five minutes. This is five minutes later and then I'm adding in my spaghetti. And then I'll go in with my shrimp stock. So you can use any stock of your choice or you can just use plain water. But when you use stock, it gives it more flavor and aroma. I'll write the steps of how I made the uh, shrimp stock for you. Cover it, allow it to cook and then check on it. So I'm just checking on it uh, after about four minutes. And then I'm trying to make sure that uh, the uh, spaghetti is covered with the sauce i'll come back and then check it occasionally give it a stir i'll turn it over to make sure that the spaghetti is very well cooked so at this point i added a little bit more stock to it which i couldn't capture on video uh, because uh, i saw that the water on it was so small and i didn't want my spaghetti to dry so you add water as you desire how you want your spaghetti to be but make sure it's not too much water it's better to add a little and then add more when you need it so this is almost done it's about 90 percent cook and then i came in with my shrimps i put it in and then i'm going to make sure that i stir everything together to make sure it's very well mixed and very well combined so what i did to my spaghetti before adding it is that i boil hot water and then i dip the spaghetti in just to get some of the starch out of it yes that is what i did before i added it in so i did not add the spaghetti raw to it i just dip it in hot water like yeah very hot water to get some of it out so this is it this is how i make my simple but yet delicious one pot assorted spaghetti recipe that is perfect for a weekend dinner perfect for every occasion and i love it oh my i know you and your family is going to love it please don't forget to like this video share for me and follow the page Thank you all so much and God bless you. Until we meet again, please stay safe and stay out of trouble. 
I love you so much. Bye.